Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss exercise 15.2, question number 30 from Thomas Calcus 12th edition book. The statement of problem is sketch the region of integration and evaluate the integral. Here we will evaluate the integral first and then we will sketch the region of integration. Statement of problem is 8t dt ds. We have to integrate 8t for the limits of t 0 to 1 minus s square square root and the limit of s are 0 to 1. Here we have st plane means our horizontal axis will be s axis and our vertical axis will be t axis. For the purpose of solution, first of all, we will isolate the inner integral from the outer integral with the help of brackets and by changing its color. With respect to t, the integration of t will be t squared by 2. So we have the following expression. In the next step, we have applied fundamental theorem of calculus and we have calculated the limits upper limit minus lower limit we have replaced t with 1 minus h square whole square root and then t with 0 this 8 and 2 will be balance each other and we will get 4 after the consideration so in this step we have limit from 0 to 1 4 into 1 minus h square square root whole square minus 0 Square and square root will be cancel out each other. So we have 4 into limit from 0 to 1, 1 minus h square ds. 4 is constant. We have taken it outside. In the next step, we will integrate it. Integration of 1 will be s and integration of s square will be s cube over 3. After integration, again, by applying fundamental theorem of calculus, we will evaluate the limits. Upper limit minus lower limit and we will get 8 over 3 as our answer. After calculating the integral, we are moving towards the second part, sketching of the region. Please note that in order to sketch the region of integration, we need some boundaries and these boundaries will have some mathematical equation and these mathematical equation will come from the limiting values of the variable. Limits of S are zero to one. So we will have the boundaries S equal to zero, S equal to one. Limits of T are zero to one minus S squared square root. So we will get two more boundaries, t equal to 0, t equal to 1 minus s square square root. Now s equal to 0, now s equal to 0 will be the equation of our vertical axis. s equal to 1 will be a vertical line. t equal to 0 is the equation of horizontal axis. Now, what are these three points, these three equations? s with green color is our horizontal axis. This red color is our t-axis and their point of intersection is origin. So we have the equations t equal to zero for this green line, s equal to one for this vertical line, blue color line, and then s equal to zero for this t-axis. In the next step, we will discuss the fourth boundary t is equal to 1 minus s square square root. Now, this t is equal to 1 minus s square square root is a semicircle in the upper half plane with center at origin and radius 1. So, we will plot it. And after this plotting, you see that our boundary region is, is in the first quadrant, this portion. In the next step, we highlight our region of integration. And this is the requirement of our question. We have plotted our required region of integration and we highlighted our required region of integration. Thank you for watching this video.